Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back with a new video and this one is a ranking, a rating, a breakdown of Miley Cyrus and this summer vacation. Yes, I sound nasally right now, I've got a cold. But I still want to record this, I still want to break this down for you, so ignore my tone. Yeah, sorry about that. Before we get in there, guys, make sure you follow my Instagram. It's in the description. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on. And yes, let's just talk about my favorites, my least favorites and what they involve. Let's start with the least favorite. Yes, guys, in the reaction, I didn't really talk about the demo of Flyers. Didn't really break that down. I listened to it since and it's it's dull. I don't like it. I don't like it. So because it's not in my original video, I'll put that at the very bottom. Then after that, my least favorite, boring, dull. It seems like an interlude, a filler. It seems like, I don't know. I, I don't know why, but it's just not it. Forgettable for me. It's got that mellow tone. But it was too la -di da it was too sweet, it was too cutesy. That's underwhelming, that's... no. No, no, no. Then, 10th favourite. As much as I love this title, the song, the melody, the... I don't know. I had to put it somewhere, so I put it at 10th. I just cannot tolerate it. That's all. So with that, I didn't want to put it last, so it's in there. Obsessed the first time I heard it. And it was hard placing this one too. It was never going to be top five the more I listened to it. I kind of got sick of it. Oh yes, that beat. <laughs> the lyrics in this one. This one reminds me of Island. I loved the transition, I loved the melody, I loved that song first listen, that was top 5, that was top 5 for a long time, when listening to this, I listened to the album so much that other songs just overpowered Jaded. Was this the one with Brandy Carlyle? Yeah, it was. That's why it's gone down in my list. That feature got Lana written all over it. Lana was no one. The beach. That's what this was. This one makes me want to cry lyrically. And that was not a thought when I first listened to it. Number six, and I feel like I should put this higher. I feel like it should be top three. It was number one, maybe number two, when I listened to the album. N number three, at least. Mm, should I put it? No, maybe. No, I'm not changing it. I'm not changing it now. I can buy myself flyers and I can hold my own hand. That's all I'm saying. It was a single, we had it before, you've seen my reaction to the song, the music video, you've heard my thoughts in the album reaction, so to talk about this one again, I'd be overdoing it. Fucking first listen, I cried. And I still do. The more I listen to it, the more I cry. That's a lyric that I didn't pick up in the original listen. You're wearing perfume, or you smell like perfume that I didn't purchase. And I did read it's AM and PM, two different sides of the album. Didn't know that going into the album. Now I wish I still didn't know that. I wish it was just kept to interpretation. But this was a turning point. 